Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the upgrade to Mac OS Server uh, version 5.4. Now, this version requires uh, Mac OS uh, High Sierra. So if you haven't done the High Sierra upgrade yet, you're going to want to do that. Uh, I did a video on the upgrade and the process so you get an idea of what it looks like and some of the changes and such. And so you can just uh, click the link up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, that's been up there and uh, just go to that video and do the upgrade first. Uh, other than that, uh, a couple things I want to say before I do show you the upgrade. Uh, number one, things have changed uh, in this version. So there's been some things that have been moved out of server and moved around a little bit. And so if your server's up and running well and it's mission critical, I would wait to do the upgrade until you've kind of gone through this process and seen how things play out a little bit. Because there's, a, you know, there's enough changes in, in how those things work and where they are at that if things are, are going well, you may not want to do the upgrade yet. Uh, I'm willing to do it. I'm going to walk through it and show you what it looks like. And uh, once you get that idea, then, then you can determine whether it's good for you to upgrade or not. So this is the up update, and again, it's a uh, you know normally it's a nineteen ninety uh, nineteen dollars and ninety nine cent uh, price, uh, but if you've already got Mac OS Server five, it's a free update, and so I've already done run the uh, install and the update, so now we're just going to go ahead and open it for the first time. Again, once you do the High Sierra update, your server will be turned off and all of its services, so you'll want to quickly do the Mac OS Server update to five point four, or your server's not running. So let's go ahead and open this for the first time, and I'm I'm going to go ahead and just put this down here. And so what we're going to do is choose a Mac. We're going to choose this particular Mac server. We're going to say continue. It's going to ask us to agree with the software license. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask me to authenticate. So let me put in my password information. Okay. And once I have that in, I'm going to click on allow. And so now it's going to start uh, the upgrade process. And so, you know, depending on your system, uh, it might take longer than than others. Sometimes it's short, but uh, we're going to go ahead and let this run. Nice thing is down here, it kind of tells you what it's doing as it's doing the update. Uh, see, it's updating web services. It's updating all of the different things that you have in the server. And so like it says, it might take several minutes uh, as it's updating different components. And you'll notice that on some of these, it takes a little bit longer to go to the next one. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and let this run so that you get an idea of how this works. And then I will uh, show you what it looks like as soon as it launches into the application. Okay, so here we are with the application launched. And so this is server 5.4. And so as you can see, if you look at the sidebar here, everything looks pretty similar. We've got most of the same things laid out. Now, a lot of the services are the same, but you'll notice a couple of things that are different. One of the things you'll notice is gone is things like the caching service and file sharing. You can see that they're not in the sidebar anymore. I'm gonna show you where those are in a minute. Another thing you'll notice is that open directory is down here under advanced. And for some of you who may be just starting out, it may be hidden. Now for hidden services, if you wanna get access to those, you just come up to the menu up here, go to view, and you can see all of the different services that are available. You can see here that even software update uh, is not showing under the advanced area there in my sidebar because I had it turned off. If I wanted to add it back in, I just click on it and it's going to add it back to my sidebar. So Apple has hidden a few things like that so that they don't get in the way or users don't uh, may not want, want or need to use them and so they hide them so that those that really want them can go find them and add them if they want to. So you'll notice that that, uh, that, that stuff has been hidden and isn't showing there anymore. Uh, otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same as before. Now let me show you where a couple of the services are that are missing, such as file sharing and the caching service and all of that, uh, as well as Time Machine. You'll notice that Time Machine is gone. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up uh, System Preferences. Let me just go ahead and I'll just leave that up there. I'm going to pull up the System Preferences uh, pane here for a minute. And let me show you where that stuff is. So if you come in here to System Preferences and you go to Sharing, you'll notice that here is where we have file sharing. And you can see that all my file shares that I had on my server are now showing over here as shared folders. And then all of the users and information is in here as well. Now, one of the things that is happening with... Uh, Mac OS server if you're using Apple's new um, a, uh, APFS uh, file system. So if you had an SSD, your Mac was automatically upgraded to that. Uh, in the future, Apple will release updates so that all of the other drives that are spinning drives or fusion drives will also be updated to it. When that happens, AFP is going to disappear. So there will be no more AFP available. Instead, everything is moving to SMB2. So you'll want to know that uh, if you've made that change so that if you're wondering, whoa, why is 
is an AFP working? Uh, it's because a AFP is being deprecated. So you'll want to get used to using SMB for all of your file shares and make sure that your shares uh, have that set up and are ready to go. So uh, again, just wanted to let you know about that particular change. Uh, another thing you'll notice here in the sidebar is you've got content caching right here. And so if I just click on that, this is the new caching service. Right now I have it turned off, but you can see here you can cache iCloud content. You can share the internet connection to make that work. I'm going to kind of go through this to show you how all these things function. But then your options over here show up as well in terms of the cache size and all of that information as well. So, you know, again, things have been moved around and it looks like Apple is integrating a lot of server things into the main operating system because they're popular th features that they think users might want across the board. Uh, again, if we go into Time Machine, all the Time Machine stuff now is sitting under Time Machine itself. And so you should be able to select the backup disk and have those backups happen over the network uh, by doing that. But I'm, I'm going to go through and do a screencast to show you how all this works and functions as well. But as you can see, a number of things have moved out of the server application and into system preferences. And so I'm going to go through the changes in future screencasts to show you how it works. But you may want to hold off because we don't know how those things work yet. And I want to make sure everything functions well. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the uh, server upgrades. So you know what you're getting into. And I'll come back, like I said, and do a series on it so you know all the different features. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.